with that? Hey, hey, relax, Harry. It's just the start of the Sonny and Cher show. Oh, my goodness. You know, I had no idea it was 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock Central Time. <laughs> well, I really like Sonny and Cher, especially Sonny. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know. I think they're kind of strange. I mean, look, Sonny used to be married, and he had a daughter, right? And then yeah. he married Cher, and then they had a daughter. Yeah. Then they got a divorce, and she married this guy, and they just had a son. Yeah. But meanwhile, Sonny and Cher are still working together. You know, I'm not sure if I approve of that. Sort of thing. Hey, come on, Harriet. Do me a favor. Save your moral judgments for your husband. <laughs> Oh, will you two hold it down? I'm trying to watch Sonny and Cher show. Honey, you, you said that you were sleepy a little minute ago. Oh, I am. I want to go to sleep. That's why I'm watching Sonny and Cher. Boy, when I did I Dream of Jeannie, they never let me show my navel. But actually, Cher and I have the same design. It's just that, you know, she gets to display her equipment. Mm. This network must allow almost anything. I don't know. Um, we... We never got to show our navels. <laughs> and I. Yeah. Well, now, let's watch the Sunny and Cher show, okay? And you, see? I want you to watch every single second of this show. <laughs> what is this, another plot to kill me? That's right. Uh, th do you want to watch these? Me, no. I'm a sports fan. I want to watch that male tennis player who had a sex change and is now a woman. Oh, is she in this tournament? Mm-hmm. She's playing mixed doubles with herself. <laughs> Boy, you know it's hard to relax around here. I wish this bed had one of those vibrator machines. It does it, kid. It does it. <laughs> Believe me, that move comes in handy. Mm. In the morning, it is the only way I can get Cookie's heart started. <laughs> Yes. Are you comfortable, Henry? The question posed the Secretary of State is, are you comfortable? Well, why not? After all, I once got into bed with Egypt and Israel at the same time. <laughs> Mediating is difficult, but I do always have hope. <laughs> right. Now all you need is Crosby and Lamore, and you can hit the road. Hey, how about Cher with that new baby of hers? Those sleepless nights, the midnight feedings, and all that crying and screaming. Man, it must be like living with Sonny again. <laughs> Actually, I'm a big fan of Sonny and Cher. I wonder what they're really like. Well, in spite of their reputations, they're both wonderful people with hearts of purest gold. Really? What makes you say that? I have to say that. I'm their announcer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny and Cher. Plus special surprise guest star. Like a 
I said, I'm not, if only my husband and Harry and I could have what those two have. Yeah, they really do. A great relationship. No, a divorce. <laughs> you know, I've never seen so much sex appeal in one person. I like sweet cheeks, you're not bad yourself. <laughs> I was referring to that gorgeous creature up on the screen. Gorgeous creature? Are you crazy? I mean, the hair's too long and the outfit is so tappy. Burn, I was talking about Sonny. So was I. <laughs> yeah? Oh. Uh, Masterpiece Theater. Who was that? Oh, that was the ratings people. This is a Nielsen bar. I'm not watching Masterpiece Theater. You think I'm going to tell them I'm watching that? <laughs> this drink is stale. How about another one? Don't mind if I do. Ow, how come I don't watch this program at home? Oh, my wife won't let me. She says Sonny and Cher encourages sex and violence. <laughs> do you agree with her? Well, if I don't, she breaks my arm and molests me. What's wrong with that? I'd like to know. Cause here I go. Very much. Thank you. I sang pretty good. Yes, considering you got a cold. I have a cold. Yes. Yeah. All right, can stars have a cold? Yes, it's possible. <laughs> Little colds. Oh. <laughs> You're starting already no, this year. No. Okay, anyway, it's good to see you again. Thanks a lot. How was, how was the summer? It was fine. Yeah? Yeah. What would you do? Anything um, interesting? No. No? No. Well, anyway. I, uh, Elijah Blue. That's right, Elijah Blue. That's what I named him. Elijah Blue. Yes. <laughs> well, come to think of it, you named Chastity, too, That's you know. That's right. <laughs> what do you have, a book of funny names? I can't believe that. I mean, I'm getting criticized by a man called... Salvatore Filippono. <laughs> Salvatore Filippono. You know, that sounds like an appetizer in an Italian restaurant. <laughs> Waiter, could you bring me a Salvatore Filippono, please? A short one on the rocks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. As I recall, you had a Salvatore Filippono once and it didn't agree with you. <laughs> Do me a favor, will you, Sharon? Yeah. Do me one little favor? Sure. Tell the people your name. Well, tell me your full name, okay? I mean, the whole name, your whole name. Sherilyn Sarkeesian LaPierre Bono Almond. <laughs> get it? Did you get it? Say, could I have it one? Would you run that by me one more time? Sherilyn Sarkeesian LaPierre Bono Almond. Sounds like a stop on a Hungarian railroad. <laughs> Sherilyn Sarkeesian LaPierre Bono Almond and Cucamonga. <laughs> no, all kidding aside, uh, Elijah Blue is a pretty, pretty name, and and he's a pretty baby. He's a gorgeous baby. He's really big, cute. He is. Big, getting big. And I know the audience here and the folks out there will join me in wishing you a real heartfelt congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. And you know, it's really, I'm glad to be back here with you. And I think that the fact that we're standing on this stage together, side by side, yeah. proves one important thing. What's that? There's still one thing that we can do together. <laughs> What's 
是不是？啊。